Radu Dragushin. Remember the name. This guy can make a huge impact in the Premier League and world football. Just think of it for a second. A footballer who turned down an approach from Bayern Munich in order to join Tottenham. Has someone ever done something like that throughout football history? By the way, he is already dubbed the Romanian Van Dijk. In our opinion, he is a pretty interesting character whom we simply can't help but introduce to you. Press the like button if you were stunned by the Romanian Sedgeback's decision to snub Bayern and let's get going! Well, it finally happened. There is a football player who managed to refuse Bayern in favor of Tottenham. And his name is Radu Dragushin. The Lily Whites have to pay Genoa a 25 million euros fixed sum and 6 million euros in add-ons for a six and a half years contract. Moreover, he has become Romania's most expensive performer. Wow, now that's historic. An impressive deal, especially considering this 21-year-old monster being a bargain. The transfer market battle for the Romanian Van Dijk was epic to say the least. Tottenham were the first to take the lead, then Napoli joined in and Bayern entered the race at the finishing line. The Bavarian's offer was the most suitable one for the Griffin, the athletic notifies, as well as for the player himself. Napoli were in the worst position due to their inability to pay the full price for the center back services. The Parthenopians wanted a swap deal. With that said, why did Radu eventually choose to join Spurs? He didn't choose the money, there was more at Bayern, Florin Manea, Dragushin's agent said. He said this was the right step for his career. I don't know how many would have refused the offer we had from Bayern. I said this is the right step. Bayern came in the last 100 meters and it was difficult to change our decision. We are a little confused to turn down Bayern, but it was what Radu and his family wanted. Italian football pundit Mina Arzuki shared an additional detail. Dragushin's agent said he couldn't believe his player turned down Bayern Munich, but he gave his word to Ange Postecoglou and he has honored it. And indeed, according to The Athletic, it was the last conversation with Tottenham head coach Ange Postecoglou that turned out to be a key factor. The Australian manager presented the Spurs project with Radu's role in the team and the Romanian defender said yes. Needless to say, that was a very tough choice for the player. On the one hand, he had Tottenham, the representative of the Premier League in which he always dreamed of playing. A clear project as well as his place in the team, guaranteed playing minutes and the club's high ambitions. But on the other hand, he had one of the strongest clubs in the world, Bayern Munich, with its glitter and trophies. Perhaps the Dragushin learned his lesson at Juventus, back when he was on the big club's periphery. Back when Radu realized it's not the right time to join such a big club. Even a higher salary didn't convince him. Football and overall development are more important. This actually says a lot about the personality of our today's hero. Bayern is among the biggest clubs, but his dream is Real Madrid or Barcelona, stated the footballer's father in an interview with the Romanian media. And this fact also speaks volumes on the top talent's level of ambition. Everything has its time and Radu understands it well. Next up is Tottenham and the Premier League, but how did the top defender get to this point in his career? Radu comes from a sports family. His mother, Svetlana, played for the Romanian basketball team. His father, Dan, is a volleyball player, and his sister, Mira, is a basketball player. His main goal from the young age was to be the best defender in the world. Father Dan told the Telegraph, and we would like to show you one of Radu's childhood photos. Interestingly enough, our hero's rise to the top club happened pretty quickly. Dragushin joined Juventus at the age of 16 after excelling in Romania for Real Sport Bucharest, a club with a partnership with Atletico Madrid. He was discovered and signed by Fabio Paratici for a transfer fee of 250,000 euros. 
This top Italian football official will play a significant role in Radu's future career, but more on that later. During his childhood career, he went on trials to PSG and Atletico Madrid. Dragushin had also gone through trials with Parma, OGC Nice, and Ampoli before he was signed by Juventus. And speaking of Bianconetti, here is a photo of a father with his son in a Juventus shirt. Unfortunately, he didn't succeed much at Juventus despite a promising start. When he made his debut appearance for the old lady, the team's head coach was Andrea Pirlo, and this is what he noted about Dragushin. He is very young and must develop on a technical level. But he will have time to do it, training every day with great champions. Juventus tried to elevate the performer to the required level, but gave up. In his debut 2020-21 season, Radu made only 14 appearances, in which he scored one goal. Therefore, he was sent on loans to Sampdoria and Salernitana and got transferred to Genoa, a Serie B club at that time on loan deal with a buy option clause worth 9.7 million euros. It was here, at Genoa, in the matches of the second tier of the Italian Championship, that Dragushin's talent was revealed. 40 appearances, 4 goals, and the status of one of the leaders of the team where he was nicknamed the bodyguard right from the first day. Being part of Genoa, he got everything he needed and, most importantly, playing minutes. That's why he significantly improved his skills with the ball. It was his performance that allowed the team to get promoted to Serie A last season. The Red and Blues had the second-best defense in Serie B. This season, the defender continued his rapid progress. 22 appearances, 2 goals and 1 assist, and only 1 yellow card. Radu has become Genoa's best player by many defensive measures, as well as becoming one of the strongest defenders in Serie A. Just look at these numbers. A very convincing display for a 21-year-old. He was also among the top three players by minutes played in the national team's historic qualification for the Euros. Overall, we witness the peak season for hype around Dragushin. Now, do you understand why Tottenham, Bayern, and Napoli fought for this top-notch player, right? This brings us to another question. Why is this guy called the Romanian Virgil van Dijk? To be fair, it was all a product of creative Italian media sources, who found many common features in two powerful defenders. Calmness on the ball in tight spaces and commanding displays have resulted in comparisons with van Dijk. The English media writes. Radu is a very calm and respectable football player. He never shouts at his partners. He is very loved in the dressing room. He is a man of the team. He doesn't like to talk too much. He likes to make things happen. Dan Dragushin said, He was encouraging and motivating. He found that exciting to work with. He wanted to please him and he wanted to work with him. People say about the player, Believe it or not, but comparisons don't end there. Dragushin has only been dribbled past once this season. Only Virgil van Dijk has a better rate among the top 5 league players. Zero. Well, this question can also be considered closed. At least, we hope so. A centre-back signing had been a priority for Spurs for quite a while. Dragushin was on Tottenham's shortlist back in the days when their sporting director was Fabio Paratici. It was he who recommended to continue to follow the development of the Romanian central defender. Again, Ange Postacoglu desperately needed a new high-profile centre-back. In his opinion, only two footballers from his current team, Romero and Mickey van de Ven, met such requirements. In case they are injured or suspended, the team immediately feels big problems. The coach almost didn't count on Dyer, so no doubt Tottenham easily agreed to sell him to Bayern. That's how the football circle works. But let's get back to Dragushin and what he can give to the Spurs roster. It's quite a long list. He is so tall and has got a great physique. It's really difficult to win a duel against him. He owns everything on an aerial level. He is very strong and aggressive in his type of defending. He is not a ball-playing defender, 
and he's not someone who's gonna progress the ball on his own at the back. But he delivers a great long pass, but it's also very difficult to dribble past him. Radu is not super fast, but his speed is enough to deliver elite level football. Among his strong points are set piece takes. He really likes to score. Besides, all coaches who worked with him always highlighted his size and character. This lad possesses the mentality of a real champion. He is a professional hard worker who always wants to improve and carefully listens to the manager's advice. Perfect profile for Ange Postecoglou. But can he bolster Tottenham squad? No doubts. Just look at the comparative characteristics with other Spurs performers available for the Sanchez back role. Postecoglou is most likely to use the stellar rookie as a left center back, while Romero will operate on the right. Back at Genoa, Radu played in a trio of central defenders and in fact it won't matter which position he may take there. He has a lot of potential to grow, football pundits claim. I'm sure in the right way, within two or three years, he will be the best, the father says. And this is exactly what we hope Radu is capable of achieving. The football club was with you. Leave us a like and subscribe, since our channel is a channel of high-quality football journalism. Check out suggested videos and stay with us. Bye-bye!